Hey folks, so the composite note is the backbone of cops and helps us layer our images together. As far as I know, there is no hotkey to change between the different blending modes. So in this quick tip, we are going to make the composite note a little bit more user friendly. The success or failure of our comp strategy depends on how well we end up using the composite node. And by default, we have to come in and change the blending operation uh, by clicking each time. And that gets tiring very quickly. To make it a bit more fun to use, we're going to upgrade it. Uh, to do that, we are going to add a slider that is going to control the operation. So we need to go edit parameter interface. Over on the left hand side here, we need to use the integer type and we are going to add that and then we need to drag it all the way up the top so it's just going to sit underneath our operation here uh, i'm going to call it a slide slider op we'll just call it slider operation there are 14 different operations for our composite node so we need to set it between 0 and 13 uh, so we're just going to lock those and we can hit apply here and now we have our slider and all we have to do is right click copy parameter right click paste relative reference and now our slider is controlling our different operations uh, so that's much more fun to use and of course you can use your ladder as well to step through the last thing to do then is just to save this as a permanent default now in this case i've lowered the foreground weight so i'm just going to put that back up to one everything else is the same as the default version that ships with Houdini. I'm just gonna click on this little cog and say, save as permanent defaults. And now when I go and put down my composite node, I get this handy little slider instead of having to click on this little drop down every single time. This allows me quickly to experiment with my different blending modes. I hope you found this quick tip useful and I'll see you in the next video.